It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 18 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. How are you, my friend? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay. I've literally been in from work like 20 minutes. Nice. And uh, we're recording pretty much straight away, so Excellent. just trying to get my bearings together, and I'll be okay. We'll, I'll get better as the podcast goes on. <laughs> good, good. Good stuff. <laughs> um, so <laughs> much wrestling news this week. So much. Okay, so we'll talk about Money in the Bank. We'll talk about the Raw following. We'll talk about uh, a certain big superstar's very recent suspension. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna sort of talk about um, John Cena and where he's at currently. Okay, okay. Um, before we start, I just want to thank everybody who turned up to the Money in the Bank live stream on Sunday evening. Yes, thank you. Uh, we had a lot of fun. So much fun. Um, so good. From the off as well. Yeah, it usually yeah. takes a little while for people to sort of uh, come into the stream, but uh, not this time. No. Uh, it was good. Uh, people were just sort of there straight away. Yeah, excellent. Nice to see the usual faces yep, yep. and the some new faces as well. Yeah, that was good. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So thank you very much for that. Mm-hmm. Um, you can join us again for Battleground, Yep. which is in uh, four weeks' time, mm-hmm. uh, where we'll be doing exactly the same thing, our live prediction show. Yes, and there'll be other scenes in between as well. Of course, yeah. so. Absolutely. So we're going to skip the gaming news this week because uh, we covered that extensively last week um, after uh, E3 Mm -hmm. and uh, gaming news does tend to dry up for a a week or so sort of following that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll sort of come back to that next week. Uh, So we're going to keep this strictly wrestling this week. Okay. So let's start off by discussing what was a very um, action-packed Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Okay. We'll run down the results, um, tick off our predictions as we go along. And discuss the real significant parts of Money in the Bank. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so um, the pre-show, the first match was Goldust and R-Truth <laughs> um, against Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Nothing think what's significant about this match. Nothing <laughs> at all. Nothing <laughs> no. was significant about the pre-show. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Golden Truth won. Hooray. They, they trapped their opponents in sunbeds. Uh, they came down with burns over their bodies. It was dumb. Okay. <laughs> End of match. <laughs> Very dumb. End of discussion. Yeah, end of, end of discussion. <laughs> end of feud, um, hopefully. I think we both had... Uh, you had I think Golden I had, Truth to win, didn't you? Yeah, I got Golden Truth to win. You had Bruce Ango. Yeah. So, so point to me. point to you. Yeah. Ding, ding. Ding. Uh, the next nothing match on the pre-show yeah. was uh, the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto and Sin Cara, mm-hmm. and uh, they took on Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley Boys. Yes. Uh, another nothing match that really sort of came out of thin air. Absolutely nothing. And, I don't know uh, who won, honestly. <laughs> the Lucha <laughs> Dragons won. Oh, right, okay. So do you think we both said... I think we both had the Lucha Dragons. Yeah, okay. That's so, um, that's uh, a point each. Yeah. I don't know what these matches are on the pre-show at the minute. Uh, I think, yeah, is it just garbage. filler before the pay-per-view? I think I so. You just like get the crowd warmed up and stuff. Just to get the crowd warmed up between the uh, the expert panel segments. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. And adverts for the matches that are on the main show. Yeah. Shucky ducky Quack, quack. The... Blah. <laughs> I hate that. I hate, I hate that. It's so bad. It's, so bad. It's, it's awful. Uh, why do they do it? I know. I, I, just, I don't get it. It's why, why it absolutely. <laughs> I, know, I honestly feel like that. Yeah. It's like why? Why have we had to suffer through an hour of this nonsense? At WrestleMania, it was even worse because oh, it wasn't okay. like two hours. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the savior of misbehavior, Corey Graves. Why do they about names? Yeah, it's weird. We'll just okay. give them their names. Yeah. Was uh, I like Corey Graves? Oh, I like Corey Graves as well, but I could do without the uh, the saviour of misbehaviour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yes. He's not much anymore. <laughs> maybe, unless he is the saviour of misbehaviour, in which case, fine, go with it. Yeah, fine, yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, we talked about the pre-show too long. Let's we have. Right. Way too long. Like We've been going four minutes, and I think three of it's been in the pre-show. Yeah. So that's three minutes too long. Didn't deserve, didn't deserve three seconds. No, it didn't. <laughs> we should have just gone, they won, they won, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we did from now on. So we move on to the main show, yeah. <laughs> and we started off with the uh, the four way tag team championship match. Excellent. Uh, it was the New Day, uh, the Club, the Vaude Villains against Enzo Amore and Big Cass. Yes, good match, I thought. Yeah, um, had some weird moments uh, towards the end. Uh, Big E picks up, I think it was Carl Anderson, um, and looked down the standoff with Luke Gallows, and it's like nothing happened for a while. And then I think, <laughs> I think Big Cass missed his cue or something, and then Big Cass ran in and was like, oh. He got knocked out of the ring. And... I think they screwed the end up as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what, they, what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Very strange. Either way, the, the New Day came out of the Tag Team Champions. Yes. So, all, all of that build-up was uh, 
For nothing, really. Yeah, pretty much. I think we uh, both had the club as winning, but... Yeah, we both had the club winning. We both had reasons why we thought the club would win. Um, those reasons... Didn't pan meant out. Absolutely nothing. In yeah. The end. Oh, well. But, uh, okay. so the New Day won. Really. They are going <laughs> to... I think what's probably going to happen here is the New Day are now going to move forward and break the record for holding the tag team titles for the longest. Most likely, yeah. They're probably going to take over from Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And... Um, They'll lose it probably after that, much like when Nikki Bella broke AJ Lee's women's championship record. Yeah, oh yeah. Or Divas championship record. Divas. The Divas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, glad it isn't called that anymore, just for yeah. that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. With. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's much like when Nikki Bella broke AJ's record. Yeah, And they're probably going to do the same, because I think Paul London's been... Uh, uh, fairly vocal since leaving. Yeah. About his uh, disdain for WWE. Yeah, makes sense. Brian Kendrick, on the other hand, he's made. He's yeah, made he's up right. for it. He's, he's, he's trained Eva Marie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to, how, uh, how good that did. To an average <laughs> standard. <laughs> yeah. But that's not his fault. I think that's more her fault. Very possible. Yeah, it's definitely. And he's been on NXT as well. Yeah, yeah he came back to NXT for a couple matches, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And he's fine. I like, I like Brian I, I Kendrick. Like I like the Brian Kendrick. The Brian Kendrick. I like that he's called the Brian Kendrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's just funny. Um... Okay, so next up with there was uh, Baron Corbin mm-hmm. versus Dolph Ziggler in yep. rematch seven thousand three hundred thirty-four. That's the one. Um, um, yeah, it was a, a decent match, uh, kind of slow. It seems to have made uh, Corbin into a boxer. In fact, maybe Vince heard that. Oh, you were you were a boxer once. All right, all your offenses now punches. I still think that's <laughs> something that was made up by JBL. It could be. It could be completely made up. Uh, he was a he was a a, a boxer in. Uh, a golden glove, a, a champion. golden glove champion in college. Yeah, it could was be, he? Was he there? Yeah, it could be completely made up. I don't know, but uh, yeah, he punches now, so that's a thing. Right, fair and, enough. Uh, it's like when Undertaker like uh, came back as the American badass, and <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden he was like, um, like being a boxer and weird things like that. Yeah, um, weird. But do we one. do this all the time? Like, they they turn people uh, who don't, you know, they just yeah, they add gimmicks where they're not needed. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Corbin won, deservedly. Uh, hopefully, finally this time, it's the end. Of this I <laughs> really hope so. I mean, I can't. We, we've talked about this so much. Like, that it, this, I mean, this needed to end for, you know, this is needed to end for weeks now. Yeah, definitely. Maybe even months. Yeah. Because what's this now? This is the third pay-per-view they fought each other. I think so, Two yeah. on the pre-show, and then this one, they were bumped up to the main show due to those two mediocre <laughs> yeah. tag team matches. Um, but yeah, he, I mean, he deserves to come move on to something much bigger. So, of course, and I hope that is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was on Raw this week, and we'll get to that in a little while. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I'm glad that he won. Yeah, um, me too. Where this leaves Dolph Ziggler, I have no idea. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> it's going to in limbo at the minute, I think. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of people like that. I think the draft is going to help people oh, yeah, like definitely. Dolph. Um, yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. We'll talk about the draft as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. So, uh, next up, um, the women's. Champion Charlotte and Dana Brooke mm-hmm. took on Natalia and Becky Lynch. Uh, yeah, it was fine, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the match the match itself was okay. Yeah, it was what happened after the match that was interesting. Uh, yes. So, um, so uh, Charlotte and Dana Brooke won. Yep, they did. Uh, but Nick, Nikki, Nikki, uh, Natalia and Becky uh, kind of bumped heads after the match, kind of yeah. cost them cost them the victory. Um, and uh, yeah, after the match, uh, Natalia turned heel and attacked Becky Lynch from behind. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. It's out of nowhere. Um, but this is good. It is good. It's good for Natalia. It's uh, very good for Natalia. They obviously followed this up on Raw with the same sort of attack. Again, we'll talk about Raw in a bit more detail in a little while. But yeah. Um, so I'm glad it wasn't just a one-off sort of frustration thing. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't think it would be, but I'm glad it isn't. Um, so yeah, Natalia is now a heel. Yes, Which means I think she's probably going to be sticking around a lot longer on TV. Hopefully. Um, I think the rest of the deserves more than what she's gone over the years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, more of that would be good. Um, I did hear apparently it's it originally going to be um, Becky turning heel, uh, but they changed it for whatever reason. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how true it is, but that would have been interesting as well. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Becky does play a very nicey, nicey sort of uh, character on TV. Yeah, she does. Um, but as does Natalia. Well, that's true. But maybe they think um, you know if Natalia maybe didn't turn heel that. She would maybe fizzle out a little bit. Maybe. So maybe turning Natalia heel is the way to keep her around and relevant. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, you know, that'd be th- 
three pay-per-view losses in a row for Natalia. I think so, yeah. So if something didn't change, you know, maybe people would start to lose a little bit of belief in what Natalia was doing. So I think maybe that's the reason that they made that decision. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because Becky, I mean, that she hasn't been on pay-per-view for a little while. No, no. She hasn't done anything of much of it. Well, of any worth, really? No, I think she was feuding with Emma before Emma got injured. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Poor Emma. <laughs> Poor Emma. Uh, I miss Emma. I hope she comes back soon. Yes, me too. But um, this is this is good news for Natalia, and I think it's good news for the Divas division. Yeah, me too. Women's division. Women's division. I always do that. I do that all the time. Yeah, I know. I, I keep thinking of it as well. Yeah, I just can't. Divas! Divas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I just, I, I can't help but just thinking about that all the time. I know. Okay. Um, so that was good that was the first bit of real sort of uh, significant um, moment in the pay-per-view I thought yeah Natalia, and it's weird that that's come, it's come from a women's match that we haven't really thought much of no no uh, we haven't thought much of the build up um, um, towards it well you can say that for the whole pay-per-view but um, that especially we haven't enjoyed it we think Charlotte's reign has been fairly poor mm. we didn't think anything this was just going to be a throwaway match with nothing happening and nothing match yeah but, but thankfully uh, they it's, proved us wrong. They got something out of it, yeah. Yeah, so that was good. good. Um, next up, Apollo Crews versus Sheamus. Yeah, um, another okay match. Nothing spectacular. Mm. Um, I thought Crews had a good showing. He did a cool uh, backflip off the apron at one point onto Sheamus. Yeah. Uh, it's very cool. But uh, other than that, very slow. Um, long as well. <clears> it lasted a while. Yeah, quite long. Um, bloody, um, uh, what's his name? Sheamus. Yeah, no, the one. Cruise. Cruise, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Good uh, wrestling knowledge. I was looking for one there. Cruise won, I think. Did he? He yeah, did he win, did. yeah, he won. Um, Seamus um, did his finisher. He did the white noise. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, off the top of the, top of the turnbuckle. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was cool, actually. Yeah, very cool. Um, and Cruise kicked out. Yep. Seamus was sort of complaining to the ref. Then Cruz sort of rolled him up in a crucifix pin and won. That was it, yeah, yeah. So it was a fairly cheap victory, but it was also one that's going to warrant a rematch. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so that was fine. It was good to see Apollo win, like um, I predicted that he would. Definitely. Um, we haven't been keeping up with our predictions there, have we? Uh, no, oh, yeah. Whoops. Um, I know we, he won, we so won. We both had the club to win. <laughs> yep. Um, both we both had Corbin to win. Yep, that's both right. And I think we both had Charlotte and Dana to win. Uh, we did, yes. So, that would so be... we're three for three so far, and we've had Cruz to win as well. So that's four for four. Four for four. Four, four uh, for four. Five, <laughs> five to four because I've got um, gone through thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was talking. Yeah. I, I blanked the crappy pre-show from my memory. Oh yeah, no, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you. Okay, so on um, the main show we're four for four. Yes. Okay. Um, next up was a match that I was very much looking forward to. I was very excited for, mm-hmm. and it delivered. Oh uh, yeah. Um, John Cena versus AJ Styles. Yes, it was a very good match. Um, um, yeah it was good um, I thought it was a very good back and forth match um, I actually skipped to this first I wanted to watch this in the morning Yeah, so um, so I skipped through the other stuff and sort of went straight to this um, obviously went back and revisited the other stuff yeah. but um, yeah I, I, I like the back and forth match mm-hmm. um, I like how AJ was like reversing went to start with like boiling through all the Cena's moves and like yeah. I'm wrestling circles around you Cena yeah. well, that was very cool um, it was very cool. AJ very plays good. the heel so well. He does. It's very good. Um, he's been doing it long enough. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, he was the he was a major heel with the Bullet Club in Japan. So, yeah. um, I really enjoyed the match. Uh, I thought it was very, very good back and forth. Typical Cena versus somebody he hasn't fought before kind of match. Yeah. So it's like when he took on Kevin Owens and you saw a different side to Cena, and um, you know he put on. Um, he was, you know, he gave a little bit extra because of. That's what it seemed like to me anyway. Yeah. When Cena's in, in there with guys like that, it elevates Cena to like a whole new level. Yeah. And it just shows how he can like put on good, he can still put on good matches. Yeah. Uh, despite what internet seems to believe. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, it's like when, I mean, we'll, get, we'll talk more in depth about John Cena later on, but he yeah. gets a bad rap. He does. Uh, but, um, you know, he does put on um, excellent matches. He does. And it was quite apparent when he was gone that he was missed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so uh, um, AJ yeah. won. He did. Um, not clean, sadly. Not clean, unfortunately. Which, you know, why make stipulations on matches if <laughs> yeah. you aren't going to carry them through? Yeah, it's a bit weird. You might as well not have bothered with the whole contract signing segment on Yeah, because on it, it, like, the end rendered it ridiculously pointless. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was um, Cena hit the... Cena was sort of had AJ Styles on his shoulders for the for the AA. Mm-hmm. Ref got taken out. Um, of course he did. Ref, yeah. For some reason was in the way. Yeah, he's always seen to happen. 
did yeah, of course. <laughs> and then he got knocked, knocked, knocked down. Yeah. Uh, Cena did the AA, um, would have got a clear three count from it. Mm-hmm. Ref was still down. Gallows and Anderson come running down, hit the magic killer. Is that what yep. it's called? Yep. Yeah. The magic killer. I always, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it the magic crusher. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> so they hit the magic killer, um, scarp it out of the ring, and, uh, AJ Styles won that yeah. way. Ref miraculously <laughs> recovered. In full recovery. Yeah, full recovery, um, soon as Anderson and Gallows left the ring. <laughs> and AJ Styles picked up the win that way. So it was a little disappointing that the match had to end that way. Yeah. Same. Obviously, this is something, a feud that they're going to keep going. Definitely. Um, until when I think it's going to eventually conclude at SummerSlam. Makes sense. We'll see. Yeah. And uh, I have a theory. Okay. Much like you did last week, and we'll oh. talk about that later. Um, but yeah, it was a shame that AJ Styles had to win that way, but I'm happy that he won nonetheless. Yeah, I'm happy. But, and it was an excellent match as well. It was very good. Very, match. very good. Definitely worth watching. Sorry? Definitely worth watching. Oh, yeah. If, uh... I thought you said something about botching. Yeah. <laughs> No botching. No, no, no botching. No botching at all. AJ Styles is okay. far too professional for that. He is. And so is Cena to a degree. Yeah. yeah. To a degree. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I had Cena to win. Uh, you had AJ Styles. So that's uh, another point to you. I'm cleaning up on these predictions. You are, man. Every show. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, Divas. <laughs> I've got that like, just, just going around my head now all the time. Uh, Cheers, you idiot. That's your fault. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Divas. Okay. Next up was the Money in the Bank ladder match. Excellent. Who, to determine who would earn a shot at the WWE Championship. Yes. Um, very good match. Very, very good. The crazy spots. Uh, Some brutal spots in this yeah. match. Yeah. Uh, especially towards the end when uh, Sami Zayn did the blue from the, I mean, the Michinoko driver <laughs> onto the side <laughs> of the ladder. <laughs> um, yeah. It looked... It, brutal. <laughs> it looked harsh. Yeah. It, it looked really bad. Because the ladder obviously wasn't on the like flat laying flat on the floor it was stood upright yeah so slammed right on the side right on the side it, it looked bent, laid it bent over he saw it really well it um, looked great it looked really good and there was a nasty bump towards the end as well where Del Rio took a bit of a tumble oh yeah I think he was supposed to land on the on the ropes like cross himself like yeah. Cesaro did but he like missed and like slammed himself against the, lad- the ladder and the ropes and, uh, looked bad if I yeah. he was shaken up by it but he's fine yeah um, <laughs> but uh, yeah it was, it, was a, it was a really good match I mean I thought it was one of the better Money in the Bank matches that we've had. I mean, they Definitely, are yeah. always fairly entertaining, but I thought this was one of the better ones For sure, yeah. that we've had in sort of recent years. Yeah. Um, we both had Kevin Owens to win this. We did. Um, um, he didn't. Sadly. Um, Dean Ambrose came out the eventual winner. He did. And I was fine with it. Oh, yeah. I was disappointed at the time because I did want Owens to win. Yeah, me too. I thought he would. Uh, I really wanted Owens to win and have a really good run with the briefcase. Yeah, it could have been. Um, so it's difficult to see where Kevin Owens goes from here. Hmm. Um, obviously, you know, he fought Sammy on Raw again. Yeah. And again, we'll talk about Raw after this. But uh, yeah, I'm um, Jericho, I wasn't too surprised that he didn't win. No, no. Um, Cesaro, I wasn't surprised that he didn't win, although he did that amazing springboard um, oh, yeah. reverse European uppercut off the ropes. That was awesome. Which was excellent. It was so cool. Yeah. You also call that giant swing which he let go midway and like slammed. Oh, he threw Joker into, into, the, into the ladder. Yeah, yeah that was cool. Man. Oh, God, that was so cool. Um, but yeah, so I mean, all these guys have bright futures, especially with the draft coming up. Yeah. And clearly WWE had a, a direction that they <clears throat> needed to go in, I feel. Yeah, I think so. Um, that will become more apparent later on in this discussion. Mm. You probably already know what it is. But, um, yeah, Dean Ambrose won, and I was fine with it. Yeah, I think. I was unsure what the crowd wanted at the time. Yeah. Because um, I think they wanted Kevin Owens to win as well. I think so. I think everyone expected him to win. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, people like Dean, so I think they're okay with it. Yeah, no, no, it became apparent later on as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, next up, U.S. champion Rusev um, against Titus O'Neil. Yes, um, kind of boring match, honestly. Uh, didn't last all that long either. It didn't. Uh, Titus didn't get a whole lot of offense in. Or well, obviously did get. Just kind of looked slow and mm. basic. <laughs> it looked like a spine buster and maybe a suplex of some kind. Yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, on on Father's Day he lost to Rusev in front of his kids. So, yeah. Uh, that was the big takeaway from this. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Vince. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, uh, his kids were in the crowd as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So Rusev won, as predicted. We both had Rusev to win this match. Yeah, and retain his United States Championship. Let's be honest. Was he ever going to lose it to Titus O'Neil? No. <laughs> I 
I like, I like how uh, Rusev went afterwards uh, after the match and went to kids like your dad's a loser <laughs> that was very funny <laughs> and one of the kids like slapped him on the chest or something yeah. <laughs> so, I love uh, Rusev I think he's yeah, I love Rusev so good <laughs> um, yeah he's a really good heel he's trimmed down a bit as well yeah he has yeah, he's um, he's, uh, cause he, was, he was really big when he first started yeah in comparison to sort of what he looks like now yeah maybe uh, Vince is trying to mould him into something uh, <laughs> something else Sort of make him into just complete ripped. <laughs> yeah. Giant Russian or Bulgarian. Yeah. Prince, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a bit of a nothing match, really, that yeah. we both knew what the outcome was. Yep. Maybe it was just to give Titus something to do now he's back from his suspension. I guess so. And next up was the main event. Hey. Seth Rollins versus WWE champion Roman Reigns. Boo. Boo. Idiot. Moron. For the <laughs> WWE championship. Yeah. This was a fantastic match. It was very good. And I thought both guys deserve a lot of credit for the work oh, yeah. they put in. For sure. Including Reigns. Now, we talked about Cena getting a, a bit of a hard time. Yeah. Right, for the matches that he puts on. But the last three pay-per-views, when Roman Reigns has been in the main event, he's put on a, a really good match. Yeah, he's very good, yeah. I mean, that may be in part to who he's been wrestling against, because obviously AJ Styles is, um, quote, yeah. phenomenal, unquote. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, uh, and obviously, Seth Rollins is excellent as well. Yeah. Um, during the match, it looked to me as though Seth Rollins has changed his game a little bit. Mm. Maybe he's gone, uh, maybe slowed himself down a little. Makes sense. He's still sort of doing his landings and stuff like that when he's oh, flipped yeah. around, but it looks like he's slowed down a little, but it hasn't affected, um, you know, how good he is. No, no, not at all. Uh, but yeah, I think when people, at least when I like, like uh, talk about Roman Reigns. I'm not talking about Roman Reigns as a wrestler. I'm talking about like how he's being booked. Because he's been booked terribly. <laughs> he's been pushed way, way too fast, way too far. And yeah. Just yeah. He's, he's, he shouldn't be um, as big as he is right now. I don't think. Um, no, I agree. Um, I think he has been. He's been. It's not even the fact that he's been booked poorly because he's been booked. They're trying to book him the way they think he should be booked. Yeah. So like they they obviously wanted him to be the main guy. Yeah. In WWE going forward. But people it's, it's too people weren't ready for that. <laughs> people weren't didn't no, like. Him they loved him in the Shield. Yeah. And they were happy for him to sort of be part of that. And then as soon as they sort of broke away, and it became apparent that Reigns was going to be the big player going forward. Yeah. That I think is what got people's backs up. Yeah, it's strange because he, he can as you can as you say he's put some great matches. The um, internet has ruined Roman Reigns. Yeah, I think so. That's what's done him. Wrestling internet wrestling fans. Yeah, but I did like how he was wrestling sort of as a heel in this match because quite kind of figured he was going to get booed anyway. So like, might as well go for uh, a heel. He's like talking back to the crowd. Yeah, uh, and it going looked, off on his leg. The way this match was booked, and I noticed this sort of early early on in the match. Uh, Roman Reigns was sort of playing the dominant heel. Mm. He was sort of smashing Rollins off the announce table and yeah. really sort of going to work on him in a heelish sort of way. Yeah, so arguing, arguing with the ref and stuff like that. Yeah, he wasn't sort of, you know, it wasn't a typical babyface performance that, um, you know, they would have probably originally booked him if yeah. he was over. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, like Seth that. was very much booked the face in this match, I think. And um, it worked for the dynamic of the match. Mm hmm. Because um, no one likes Reigns, no. so they, now they have an excuse to boo him. Yeah, exactly. And everyone likes Rollins, but he can still play up to the fact that he is still very much a heel. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so it was an interesting, it was an interesting dynamic, I thought. Yeah. Um, but it was it was a good match. A couple Excellent. of uh, hellacious power bombs from Reigns during yeah. the match. The you still suck bombs. Yeah, uh, you still by... suck bombs. <laughs> yeah, which... someone on, on uh, YouTube. Yeah, which uh, <laughs> somebody said in our stream. Yeah. Um, there was a very cool moment when Roman Reigns went for the spear and Seth Rollins reversed it into a pedigree. Yeah, I think that should have won the match, personally. Yes, so um, do I. Because all they did afterwards, I picked him up again, doing another pedigree. It's like, the first one looked way cooler. Just <laughs> having those of that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it was good. Yeah, it was a good the match. The match itself was very, very good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Seth won, which I just couldn't believe. Yeah. Uh, I can but, believe it now. Yeah. I thought that three, like, two seconds after he won, it's like... Oh, now he's going to cash in, isn't he? And then... <laughs> yeah, and then, <laughs> lo and behold, Dean Ambrose made good on his promise and cashed in the Money in the Bank contract that he said he was going to win. Yeah. And uh, won the WWE Championship from Seth Rollins. Yeah, it's got a huge pop as well. It's ultimately he turned up. So what a night for uh, unexpected changes. Yeah, definitely. We um, both had Reigns to win and win convincingly. And 
because obviously he was booked to be the you know the way he was being booked is like he was going to be the guy yeah. as he says and he you know that's exactly what he was supposed to be going forward for a long long time long Definitely. title run things have happened since then and <laughs> yeah. uh, um things have changed yeah um uh, I do think they could have done without the ref bump because uh, they couldn't just have them win perfectly clean, cleanly I had to mess around with it somehow yeah um, also he like slammed himself into a wall but look at the great goal to prepare um, I would have preferred it, it was just like a clean win uh, for Seth for Seth yeah mm-hmm. definitely but it was good I'm glad Seth won I'm glad Ambrose after all I, I was a bit annoyed at, at the time I said oh you robbed us of a money in the bank thing going forwards um but I, after wasn't it again, I'm happy that Ambrose is champ, and uh, it yeah, makes sense. I'm also very surprised. Yeah, I'm very surprised. Um, because I mean, Rollins is awesome, mm. and I was I really wanted another run with Rollins as the heel champion. Yeah, but I told you that you couldn't beat me, and here I am now regaining what I've worked so hard for for the last seven months. Yeah, yeah. That'd Instead be cool. of I beat you, and you know all that, and then. But I lost straight away. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I am happy that Ambrose has won it okay. because I think he's awesome yep. and I think he deserves it. Yep. And I think he could be a very stone cold Steve Austin type of champion. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was a crazy night. I mean, we were hoping something was going to happen. Yeah. And finally, <laughs> and finally happen. something has happened in yeah. a major way. Now, obviously, since Money in the Bank happened and since Raw happened, so I'm going to skip a little bit here. Roman Reigns has been suspended mm-hmm. for violation of the wellness policy. What a pillar. I cannot... I, when I read this last night, I just could not believe it. I texted yeah. you like pretty much straight away. I texted Steve straight away. And I was like, Reigns. Uh, like literally, doing, all yeah. I put to him was Reigns. I just put Roman Reigns in black capitals to you. Yeah. And it was just news that you just you just didn't expect. Yeah, out of nowhere. It's like, what? <laughs> like, Roman Reigns, the guy that been wanting to book as a monster yeah. and as their face of the company going forward he's he's violated the wellness policy of all people yeah we don't know what it was for no my guess is performance enhancing drugs like steroids perhaps something like that maybe yeah but Jesus I mean when I saw this I was like they've just booked a triple threat for Battleground yeah and now he's got a 30 day suspension yeah when, when I first found out I thought well he's not going to make that then but uh, luckily his suspension is up before Battleground but I don't think that triple threat is going to happen. Now. You don't think so? No. Interesting. Are they going to? Are they really going to talk about this on Raw? Do you think or on My, SmackDown? I predict they're going to, in kayfabe, have him say he's injured. He may got injured in the uh, main event or on Raw or something, and he can't show up because he could have broken his toe or something. I'm telling <laughs> you now, they will not get away with it. Yeah, I don't they won't. WWE have <laughs> announced that he is. Uh, WWE tweeted. Oh yeah, I saw on their on their on their thing. Yeah, there is no way they can get away with that on TV because we are not stupid. Yeah, the fans are not stupid anymore. Yeah, well, they, I mean they've not been stupid for years, now, but <laughs> even more so now they are so wise to everything that happens in WWE and all of professional wrestling. Yeah, it's that, a, it's just I can't imagine a world where they acknowledge the fact that Roman Reigns took has been has violated his wellness policy. It's just so so weird to me. They're gonna to have to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, apparently WWE knew about this going into Money in the Bank. Yeah. And it's obviously nice that is why he's dropped the championship. Yeah. Man, so weird. So <laughs> so weird. Reigns, you idiot! What are you doing? But saying that, if they knew about it going into Money in the Bank, why make the triple threat? Yeah, that's a yeah. I think I think this is really sort of throwing WWE off. Definitely, yeah. Because panic booking. Like, oh God, what do you do? <laughs> I mean, maybe they didn't know know about it. I mean, this is also the internet yeah, okay. making, you know, Previous, creating yeah. theories and things like that. Um, oh, WWE must have known about it. That's why I dropped the belt. Mm-hmm. But then it really does beg the question because Reigns, his suspension is up three days before Battleground. So he can't be on Raw, can't be on SmackDown, can't be part of the draft. Yeah. So he's even going to be drafted yeah, to anywhere? Drafted. That's a good point, yeah. What, the, what, what that. actually <laughs> happens from here? That's the thing. What what happens now? Yeah, because the theory was that uh, Cena was going to be like the face of like War Smackdown and Reigns is going to be the other one uh, on the other show. But now, but now like, Cena them. can appear. Well, Cena it's obviously yeah. on the draft when the big draft <laughs> comes out. You know, what, you know that, that's the big deal is made out of it. Yeah. but uh, So he can't appear now until... He literally can't appear until Battleground. Yeah, that's so weird. Um... And he has to come back as a heel now as well. 
Oh, well, I guess so. No yeah. way he can be a face. <laughs> Absolutely. The crowd's going to destroy him when he comes back. How the hell so. can you be a role model to children when you just yeah. violated the wellness policy? Well, yeah, that's true. It didn't work for Rey Mysterio when he violated the wellness policy and came back. Yeah. The fans were having none of it, and that is what eventually, I believe, led to Rey Mysterio no longer being with WWE. Makes sense. How can it... The, it's going to take a lot for Roman Reigns to recover from this, I think. I think so. Um, yeah. God, poor... I want to say poor Reigns, but I think people are just happier than he's not going to be in the main event scene for much longer. It's maybe. such a weird situation. Uh, there's nothing like it anymore. Yeah, it's very bizarre. I mean, guys have been suspended before, of course, but not, not involved in a, in a major storyline like this. No. That's so weird. Um, so, so weird. Yeah, I'm trying to think what they do for me, but it's not really much they can I mean, do. <laughs> do they acknowledge it on Raw this coming Monday? And Maybe they just um, ignore it. Like it didn't happen. So. Roman, they can't Roman ignore who? it. Roman they can't what? ignore it because obviously Reigns would have had to have been a big build up yeah. part of the build up. Battleground's five weeks away. Yeah. How they cannot ignore it for five weeks, they just can't. I know. Uh, so weird. So now they're gonna either have to acknowledge it mm-hmm. and you know and re- I mean really acknowledge it. Like, right, Roman Reigns has done this. Um it's a bad now, man. now he's he's out he's not allowed to be in the main event. Yeah. And now it's just going to be Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Yeah. And then yeah. maybe, Delayed depending on what happens with Reigns and how he's perceived when he comes back, do they have it at SummerSlam then? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so weird. It's um, such a strange situation. I, I guess Dean will fill in Roman's spot as the other guy on the other show, for now, at least. Yeah, good um, shot. Other than that, I don't know what they're going to do. Unless they bring somebody, somebody surprising in. Yeah, yeah. There has been rumours that they've been contacting uh, past uh, superstars. Yep, Jeff Stan- Hardy, yep. Goldberg, Kurt Angle, yep. Carlito, Rey Mysterio, John Morrison. Yep, the um, Stephen Steve Stephen Richards, Stephen Richards from his uh, to fill out the, basically to fill out the roster, isn't it, for the brand split? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, uh, so it's there's I don't I don't recall a more interesting time. <laughs> yeah. To uh, I mean, a a raw, raw on Monday is going to be very interesting. Yeah, yeah, definitely next Monday. Um, um, I don't know I mean obviously it was announced what yesterday uh, I think so so they would have filmed Smackdown last night hmm interesting so have you had a look at the Smackdown results yet not yet let's have a look um, but wow I mean holy crap yeah crazy I don't know if this could have come at uh, I don't know if this could have come at a worse time for WWE yeah seriously just made the main event for Battleground so bad the time that night or the day after it comes out the Roman Reigns has violated the wellness policy. Yeah. Wow. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Oh, interesting. Um, didn't it like Roman uh, Reigns appeared on SmackDown? Well, no, no, because it was announced yesterday afternoon, so before SmackDown was taped. Ah, uh, makes sense. Um, there's not there's any mention of uh, Reigns at all. It was Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins? Because Seth Rollins was due to appear on SmackDown. Oh, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins apparently um, opened SmackDown with a promo issuing an open challenge to the locker room. I want to make it yes, who appears? Dean Ambrose? Nope. Cena? Nope. Go on. It's not even what expect. It's Sami Zayn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then he's followed by uh, Dean Ambrose, uh, who introduces the Championship Edition of the Ambrose Asylum. Um, and the main event is going to be Rollins versus Zayn. Okay. Which is pretty so cool. No, no mention of Reigns there? No mention at all. Mm, okay. And it's like three matches. <laughs> I was doing that one. Dust standard for SmackDown. That will change when it goes live. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so... We, I'm gonna. We'll talk about Raw now. We'll just we'll we'll quickly skim over sort of uh, what happened on Raw. Oh uh, yeah, so it's actually a pretty good episode of once. It was a good episode of Raw. Yeah, I mean, obviously the uh, the beginning of the show set up what was to be the triple threat match at Battleground. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, because of what has happened now, it's thrown it into uh, well, it's thrown it into the unknown. Yeah, I feel like these next few episodes of Raw are going to be like clean up episodes, to, like clean up feuds, finish off feuds before yeah. the split happens and they split everyone up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, because obviously there's, SmackDown goes live July 19th. Um, I got the date wrong on last week, so I said July 13th, so I should oh, yeah. after that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Which is the SmackDown before Battleground. Oh, yeah. So. Corrections. Yes. <laughs> um, and there is a Raw before that. I thought they would do uh, the draft on the Raw. But obviously, they oh, yeah. want the first edition of live SmackDown to be, you know, viewers, yeah, <laughs> viewers. you know, 
Because I mean, they've got us already. I mean, yeah, I watched sure. it anyway because it's the first live SmackDown was going to happen. Oh, yeah. But now the draft's going to be on it. Big ratings. Definitely. Big, big ratings. Um, just trying to find the, the raw, quick results here. Um, well, the first match. Uh, oh, okay. pan, pan, oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, it's Owens versus Sammy. Yeah, um, so they looks like this was billed as uh, the match to end the feud. Yes. Didn't happen. Nope, didn't happen. Uh, so Sammy Zayn won, clean. Yep, got a like with a roll up pin. Yeah, it was a good uh, match. It good match, good match. Um, but then uh, Kevin Owens attacked him afterwards. Got a quasi dip. Yeah. Kevin Owens. Um, rolled up, rolled up to the uh, backstage. And uh, the, um, what's his name? Why are you forgetting people's names? What's wrong with me? Because you suck. Yeah, I do suck. Uh, Road Dog made an appearance. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Finley as well. Finley, yeah, yeah that's what I don't remember. Finley so, and Road Dog showed up. So this this feud is going to carry on now. Um, I imagine they'll fight at Battleground. And then, and then I, I still I think they'll fight at SummerSlam. Uh, yeah, makes Unless sense. Unless they're split up in the draft, which they did sort of mention on Raw. They were like, the only way this feud's going to end is if they're both drafted to different shows. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think they will get split up, I think, but they'll just end it beforehand, like, I like the war before the split. You think? I think so, yeah. I think it'll be booked for Battleground. Uh, it could be, maybe battle, Battleground will end Then it. that'll be it, and then they'll sort of reset after Battleground. Yeah. And uh, the draft will sort of... Because I think what's going to happen here is um, they'll be like... Because everyone's going to be on that SmackDown. Oh, yeah. The whole roster will be on Smack that that version of SmackDown, definitely or that edition of SmackDown rather. And except for Reigns, sorry, except for Reigns, <laughs> except for Reigns, everybody but Reigns because yeah. he's a naughty boy. And naughty boy. Uh, then what will happen is um, the Raw after Battleground is when the new rosters will come into effect. Yeah, so they'll do the sense. draft, and then the, after Battleground, that's when everything will start. I think makes sense. So yeah, I think Z- Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens will finish at Battleground, maybe, yeah. and so they'll. They'll split up then. They'll split, they'll split them up in the draft. Makes sense. One on Raw, one on SmackDown. Next up, um, is this when Big Johnny came out? It is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I like that his Titan Tron says Big Johnny as well. Oh, yeah. So, and JBL went nuts. Uh, yeah. Good choice J- but, but just a quick note here. JBL's commentary recently is just getting worse and oh, worse. It's utter garbage. I his hate commentary during AJ Styles versus Cena at Money in the Bank was so appalling <sighs> that I had to mute the match. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. Oh God! You got to win like that, and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Like, give up. it a rest. Are you a heel? Are you a face? What? What are yeah. you? Weird. What are you, strange man? Strange. Strange. Section. Um, yeah. So um, I hope he doesn't replace King on SmackDown. Um, he isn't at the minute. Thank God. Uh, David <laughs> Otunga is. Oh God! I think that might be even worse. Because <laughs> David Otunga has recently been promoted to uh, main event and superstars. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've not watched it to sort of form an opinion, yeah. but it's David Atunga, he carries coffee, he knows. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's his one job, he carries coffee around him. So Big Johnny came out and he was sort of um, rallying to be a general manager of either Raw or SmackDown. It yeah. was a funny little segment, yeah, but it's, uh, event, you know, as the time goes on, they're going to you have to announce who is yeah. going to be the GM of both Raw and SmackDown. Shane said it was going to be him, I don't think it's going to be still. No. It'll be, it'll be yeah, it'll be someone different. I think. I think so. Um, um, it'll be Richard sure next week. Who comes out? Probably. <laughs> I don't know last week, but which, yeah, but it's just going to happen eventually. <laughs> it's gonna be, Without question, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, um, so the on Raw they had two podiums, one for Raw, one for SmackDown, showing sort of what was going to happen on yeah. live, first live SmackDown. Yeah, teasing it. Probably be there in the next few weeks, I think. Until the draft. Until the draft. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, WWE do this. Yeah, they do. Really. So that's that's the big news going forward, and that's fine. It's cool. Um. So after this, Shane came out, took Big Johnny away, and <laughs> yeah. uh, away out came him. Enzo Amore and Big Cass yeah. to take on the four villains, um, which they won. It was a throwaway match. Yep. And they said a bloody replay again of Enzo getting knocked out. Why did they keep jamming Leave that? Leave it alone. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Who it was not a horrible it? event. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just a, a horrible thing. Don't yeah. sh- stop showing it. Bloody Kevin Dunn. <laughs> bloody oh, replays. Um, stupid replays. But yeah, that was a nothing match. It just showed... Um, how very popular Enzo and Cass are with their yeah. usual in on the way to the ring shtick pretty much but that was that um, next up we had a Cena segment mm-hmm. uh, I'm literally running through the quick results here yeah fair enough um, Cena versus Carl Anderson after sort of a lengthy talking segment obviously AJ Styles making the club uh, apologise to yeah, him weird. and Cena which I couldn't get my head around I was like this is weird are they going to turn this around in some strange way but it yeah. didn't really appear so what's it like the match between uh, Tina and Carl Anderson Tina just completely destroyed Carl Anderson he can't got like, no offence in at all yeah. it's like what are you doing he's like he's so good <laughs> why yeah. waste him I know 
Um, yeah. But it was it was weird. I didn't really understand the I didn't really understand the promo. Um, they didn't turn it around, and it was literally an apology. And yeah. Then all of a sudden, you know, the club were back on terms again. Um, AJ said that you can fight anyone at the club, and except for him, except for him. And then it turned out that it was going to be Carl Anderson versus Cena. So, um, again, this this match was a a nothing match, nothing more than a continuation of the feud match. Yeah. Uh, of because the club attacked Cena. Yeah. And the match ended in DQ, and he won. He was looking for the club to come out of the entrance way. Yeah. Um, and eventually they did. <laughs> Anderson deserves better. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this at the minute. We're going to talk about Cena anyway. Yeah. But uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this right now. Um, Baron Corbin beat Zack Ryder yep. in a squash pretty what, much it wasn't Dolph Ziggler so I'm happy yep <laughs> uh, but Zack yeah, Ryder did get some opt in it wasn't a complete squash or anything it wasn't, a, it wasn't a full squash but it was it was a, um, it was just to make Baron Corbin look strong yeah pretty much and that's all it was I think yep um, it's sad to see Zack Ryder doing this uh, yeah Former Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, That's WrestleMania really moment. Won the title at WrestleMania. Has done literally zero since. Yeah, shame. Real shame. Um, maybe it's time to get the hype bros back together. <laughs> maybe. I they don't get know. hype. They stay hype. Yeah. Ugh. You know it, bro. You hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Ready, Mojo. Next up, um, the advertised match of Women's Champion Charlotte with Dana Brooke. Mm. Uh, taking on Paige and he was for the women's championship as well yes good um, and it was a really good match actually it was a very good match an actual women's match yeah um, an actual women's match given time on Raw yeah amazing what could happen when you let two talented wrestlers actually wrestle yeah it's weird I mean you know, you'd <laughs> think this would be uh, the case every week but yeah. it isn't but yeah really good match um, Charlotte did win uh, yep shenanigans uh, Denny Burke held uh, Charlotte's leg against the rope. Kind she of, messed it up as well. She did, yeah, she kind of bunched it. She's going to get a leg on the top of the rope, so she kind of held it there. But I, I think she messed that up because I think she was just supposed to put the leg on the rope and yeah, then yeah. Drive, jump off the apron. But the ref caught her doing it and the ref went to um, the the timekeeper, said something, then like yeah. Charlotte really should have been disqualified when <laughs> that is the case because her friend has interfered in the match. Disqualification. Yeah. Um, but, didn't yeah. happen. He's sent Dana away yeah but then the mask kind of carrying on behind him as yeah. normal and then Charlotte did natural selection and beat Paige yeah so it was a botched finish really pretty much But it, to uh, which is a shame because it was a great match yeah it was a really good match but um, what happened after this um, Charlotte and Dana you know got a couple of hits in on Paige and beat her up and blah 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 yeah um, then the return finally finally of the boss yeah. She's back. Sasha Banks is back Excellent. and injected herself into the women's title picture. Good. And she stood <laughs> tall uh, alongside Paige yeah. um, to very loud yes chants. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was holding up the women's championship. Good. Good. Excellent. Good to see her back. Yes. Um, well, just, uh, she, I think she's too old to really want to dethrone Charlotte in the end. She'll um, win it at SummerSlam. Makes sense. Everything happens at SummerSlam. <laughs> Everything happens at SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's, that, that's the prediction at the minute. Expect nothing just yet, and then everything will happen at SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, let's get back. Uh, more please. More please. Don't mess it up. Don't, please yeah. don't mess it up. Have actual women matches on Raw. Don't yeah. just have talking segments in a crappy tag match with yeah. Dana Brooke. Don't have, a, don't have a Teddy Long tag match yeah. every week on Raw. We don't need it. No. Just do it right. Have really good, solid women's matches with the unbelievable talent roster that you've got of women now. Yeah. So just make the most of it. Don't put them all on Raw at the same time. You can you you can get away nowadays with having two women's matches on Raw. Yeah, definitely. Um, like wrestling matches as well. I'm yeah, yeah, like. actual matches. So not. you could have you could have I don't know you could have Charlotte versus Becky and then Sasha versus Natalia. Yeah, and people wouldn't be mad at it. No, they'd be great. It's not like before when you've got um, I don't know Kelly Kelly versus Kelly. Uh, <laughs> Alicia Fox or yeah, so the, exactly yeah <laughs> stuff like that where you've yeah. got Kelly Kelly versus Alicia Fox and then. You know, later on in the show, you've got a, a tag team match and it's bloody Naomi and Tamina versus... <laughs> yeah, Bellas. The Bellas or something. Yeah, and you can have two... You can have really solid women's wrestling matches. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I want to see more of that. Me too. Fuck yeah for women's wrestling. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Woo. Women's wrestling. Women's wrestling. <laughs> okay. Um, then, it was the main event to determine 
the number one contender to the to Dean Ambrose newly won WWE Championship. Uh, I think you missed something. Um, Did I? Yeah, Whites came back. Okay, yeah. So the Whites <laughs> came back. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I've got these quick results in front of me. Yeah, doesn't mention any of that. There is. Uh, Whites came back um, to good reaction. Um, yeah, good reaction. Yeah. Uh, people the white the whites, which is good. Um, interrupted by the new day, new day, which is an interesting choice. Um, I hope the whites come out on top of this feud because yep. they need it desperately. And I hope it's um, Bray in the mix as yeah, actually, yeah. actually wrestling. He looks good. He's trimmed down. He was great. Yeah. Um, it, he came back a different sort of Bray Wyatt. I felt. I think like so. When he, cause he was like, "Have you missed me?" Like yeah, yeah. that's very sort of uncharacteristic based on the Bray Wyatt that we know yeah I think before he got injured they were like teasing a face turn for the Wyatts so uh, yeah. maybe there was a bit of that going on maybe but um, it was it was good to see him back and it almost felt like quite a refreshing segment because he was talking differently he looks good um, don't know what those two were going to do I don't know mm-hmm. what Strowman and Rowan uh, hopefully they're really. to, yeah hopefully they're to, they're to look scary and menacing but if they're going to win the else. tag team championships <laughs> Yeah. That said, it could just be a triple threat. No, like New Day, like million, New, yeah. exactly like New Day. Why, I don't know why I'm even talking about this because yeah. they can just day. share the tag team titles like New Day are doing. Yeah, exactly. I'll do that. That's fine. Hooray. Okay, problem solved. Next, <laughs> um, but it's great to see the Whites back. Yeah, definitely. at least Bray Wyatt. Anyway, I don't care about the others. Uh, also, there's a bit between Titus and Rusev. Uh, they're gonna have a rematch, but it didn't matter to start because Titus got my nuts and attacked, beat Rusev. Yeah, it looked quite convincing as well, actually. Yeah, that's right. Um, and they're going to have a rematch clearly at Battleground. Bleh, great. Bleh. <laughs> Hopefully on the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because Rusev's awesome. Yeah, Rusev is great. Rusev does better. Have the dummies on the pre-show again. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever they, whoever they're going to put over this time. Yeah. Uh, also, there was a talking segment with Roman Reigns. Uh, he said, last night, Seth Rollins proved that he was really goo. Thanks, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy his suspension. And yeah, they made Really it. goo? <laughs> yeah. He can't, he can't talk. Is that in the this. backstage segment or something? Yeah, yeah, backstage segment. Last it's night. It's really goo. Really goo, yeah. Go back and watch it. It's not what he says. Uh, God's sake. See you in three days. God's sake. <laughs> Come on. You're better than this, Roman. This is why they pre tape some segments. <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. That oh, was really goo. Um, so next up, so at the beginning of Raw, I didn't say this, but uh, Shane made a singles match between Seth oh, yeah. and Roman to determine the number one contender. Yeah. Um, uh, it didn't end, unsurprisingly. Oh, yeah. Ended in a double count out. Yep. Um, cool Dean it. Ambrose came down. Uh, he was followed by Shane. And he said that, you know, he'd take them both on on the same night. Yeah. Shane said, oh, I'll do you one better and you can have them both at the same time. We don't know what's going to happen with this now. Yeah. It's because all in the uh, end. Who knows? Roman's been taking drugs. Damn. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's weed. Because uh, no. I don't think WWE suspend people for weed. No, that's, that's what, I, that's I what I've no read. Idea. That's what uh, I've read today. Rob Van Dam uh, made had a good uh, run, didn't he? So probably not. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He even tweets that he's smoking every day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So we don't know what's going to happen with this triple threat now, but it was made and now we move forward to next week's Raw and we don't know what's going to happen. So, But one really shitty thing happened at the end of Raw. Dean Ambrose uh, attacked both uh, Roman Reigns yeah. and um, Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, Dean Ambrose hit Dirty Deeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Michael Cole called it the pedigree. Uh, oh, pedigree by Dean Ambrose. God damn it, Cole. What are you talking about? Uh, I know you're excited. We're all excited. <laughs> We're all excited that Dean's the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. But his finishing move is not the pedigree, is it? No, it's not. It's not. It never has been. Nope. And never will be. <laughs> it's Dirty Deeds, Cole. Do your fucking research, Cole. <laughs> uh, how long have you been here, Cole? This is why nobody likes you, Cole. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. Stupid idiot. Yeah, he's a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, okay, so that ended Raw. Obviously, okay. we don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. Um, I think what they're going to do is just say that you know Rome, they're going to they're going to allude to it because it's been announced. It's been all over the internet. Wrestling fans aren't stupid anymore. No. And I think it'll just end up being Seth versus Dean. Then Roman will come back. Whenever. It depends, it, you know what, it's so up in the air, I can't even make a prediction right now, because the draft is going to happen in between all of this. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, so who knows what's going to happen. Anything can happen. They could all in end WWE. up being chucked on like, separate shows. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <sighs> who even knows? Maybe they'll end up on NXT. <laughs> 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 That'd be weird. Uh, anyway. Okay. So. 
that that's what's going on now. Uh, yeah. What what I want to talk about, and we're going to start doing topics of the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this this week we're going to talk about John Cena. Hey John Cena. Yeah. Okay. John Cena. Okay. That John Cena. The very same. Mm-hmm. So John Cena has been uh, for the last ten years the face, or for the majority of the last ten years, the face of WWE. Yes. Okay, he's been the biggest, he was the biggest baby face at one point, and then the fans, you know, seemingly turned on him, but his character hasn't changed in 10 years. He's gone from being the Doctor of Thugonomics. Word life. Yep, this is basic Thugonomics. <laughs> um, to being what he is now, um, and he's been the same for his, pretty much his entire run. He's dominated, he's been the champion a, a ton of times. Yeah, um, he's always booked as the underdog. Uh, who overcomes uh, the bad evil? Insurmountable odds. Insurmountable odds. Yeah. Big match, John. He beats. He, you know, he's he's booked as the underdog, but you know, realistically, we know he's going to win. Exactly. And yeah. it's been that way for ten years now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, obviously, uh, last year he sort of dropped into the mid card and yes. was the United States heavyweight champion. And was excellent in doing it as yeah, well. Yeah, it was great. I had the uh, open challenge every week. It was yeah. like a guaranteed good match every week. So, you know, it showed that he can adapt his game because he mm. went from being, you know, the, you know, I'd say the giant killer. He was the giant killing the minnows. Yeah. True. In the main event of every single pay per view. Yeah. Having feud after feud with the top guys for the top prize, the championship. Yeah. Dropped to the mid card to fight for the United States Championship. And then he got injured. Yes, uh, it's left like a like a gap of like what well, now what? <laughs> yeah, what did he do with the US title and all that? So the US title did he, he did he lose the US title? Uh, yeah, I think he lost it to uh, someone. Did he lose it to Seth Rollins. Yeah, well, yeah, he had that whole thing in Seth Rollins, and uh, did he win it back from Seth Rollins? I can't remember. I think he did. I think he did. Yeah, I don't remember. But that's not what I want to talk about. No. <laughs> okay, so either way, so he's he sort of, um, he dropped down the card and then got injured. He did. So, he comes back, he's advertised to come back, and people just aren't as excited. Uh, yeah. The big announcement that he's coming back, he's coming back early, is a complete Superman. Yeah. Um, he's coming back on Memorial Day Raw. Mm-hmm. So he comes back on Memorial Day Raw to... Okay reaction, I guess. Yeah. So the John Cena sucks singing along yeah. with his music. Uh, the fans the don't us. like him anymore, even no. though he's been away all this time. The fans have, they've, you know, they've been turning on Cena for a long time. Yeah. But we're at a point now where Cena is stuck. Yeah. He's, yeah. Cena's come back um, and he's, he's, in a, he's in limbo. Mm-hmm. He's put in this feud with the, with the Bullet Club. I'm yeah. going to call them the Bullet Club because yeah, I don't like the word the club it's crap <laughs> it is a bit and it's sort of where is John Cena now where is he that's what I want to talk about I want to talk about where John Cena is right now and if John Cena is going to be around for a few years to come what needs to happen yeah um, so we've been thinking about um, how they could turn John Cena heel but the more I think about it the more I think it's kind of impossible <laughs> it's like because he's done all this stuff with like charities and all that uh, in order for him to turn heel you kind of have to turn his back on all that so it kind of makes him a liar uh, like retroactively he's like actually I don't care about all these kids I've been going to this whole time because I'm an arsehole <laughs> and you need to boo me now and it's like do we do WWE we don't want to do that to John Cena because once he turns heel there's no going back I don't think for John Cena to have um, a realistic and I mean realistic future in WWE. Um, they need to they need to change him. Yeah. Um, but it, and it isn't impossible. No. So they, they've they've put him in a feud with the right guy here. So AJ Styles obviously went over Cena at uh, Money in the Bank, mm-hmm. and I imagine they'll have a rubber, uh, another match uh, that Cena will win, and Probably. then they will go into SummerSlam where this feud is going to culminate. Yeah. Now. I wonder, uh, well, you said something on the podcast last week where you obviously you ran over a scenario with Cena joining the Bullet Club and then maybe sort of, you know, was it dumping AJ out? Uh, yeah, I'm dumping AJ out and uh, having like the club team with Cena and then Cena being the head of the club mm. uh, going forward. 
Now, this is something that I sort of never, I, you know, we, I said it was interesting at the time. I uh, didn't think it would sort of happen. Mm. But I've been thinking about it more and more this week. Okay. okay. And I'm going to compare Cena to Hulk Hogan. Makes sense. Okay, because um, Hulk Hogan, um, you know, when I started watching wrestling in the back end of the 80s, um, Hulk Hogan was the, you know, he was the guy. He was. Yeah. He was on all of the merchandise. He was the biggest baby faces, the reason that people bought tickets. He was he was professional wrestling. Yeah. Okay. Um you ask anybody in the world about professional wrestling, whether they are a fan now or not, they will the first probably the first person they will go to is Hulk Hogan. Yeah, definitely. Everybody knows who Hulk Hogan is. Yeah. Old or young. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um in I mean Take you to July 1996, okay? Okay. Um, and it was, they were building up to go Bash at the Beach 1996, their big, WCW's big summer event. Yeah. Now, going into this, <clears throat> this is a period for me when the fans were starting to get smart. Yeah, yeah. Makes okay? sense. Okay. Um, they were starting to get wise to Hogan. They were... They, the, the fans were reaching a point where they didn't necessarily want the goody two-shoes wrestler anymore they wanted yeah. a bit of edge because Hall and Nash had just come in and obviously everyone was you know so excited by this that changed professional wrestling okay mm-hmm. um, so Hogan is still playing the same character that he was in the WWF years um, you know still wearing the red and yellow yeah still America through and through and all that sort of stuff yeah and then on this you know th- I th- and th- at this point WCW changed the game it did. They knew something had to change, and obviously they approached Hogan with this idea of turning him heel. Mm. And that night, <laughs> back at the beach, nineteen ninety six, Hogan turned heel. Yeah, the impossible happened. Yeah, big moment, one of the biggest moments in wrestling. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, That's all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Out of the window, gone completely forever. Mm-hmm. And Hogan had did his best work as a heel. Yeah, I he had so. an incredible run as a heel. Mm, yeah, and when it was seemingly impossible, <laughs> yeah, because so, Hogan was the good guy. Was, yeah, he was the good guy. He was the good guy. Turned his back on all of his fans, all the Hulkamaniacs, and changed professional wrestling forever. Forever, yes. Now that is the immortal Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> now I see what you're doing too. So. I know we're in a very different time now. Yeah. Fans are smarter now than they were then. But that was the turning point of professional wrestling for me. Mm-hmm. If Cena turned heel now, it would change everything. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think it would anyway. It's my opinion that I think it would just change everything. So if Cena was to join the Bullet Club and they could have that sort of... Uh, I believe it would have that same sort of impact that Hogan had um, when he joined the NWO. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, yeah. I, I, I do definitely see that. I just don't know if WWE are willing to take that risk uh, in today's like internet-inspired uh, era. They would win <laughs> over the, They would win over those people that have lost faith in Cena, that lost faith in Cena years ago. Yeah, that's true. But It would it, make Cena cool again. Yeah. So you can fuck make Darren Young great again. <laughs> yeah, make Cena cool again. It would make Cena cool again. Yeah. He joins Anderson and Gallows. The and bo- then- yeah, the only problem I have is who replaces Cena as, like, the guy. AJ you know- Styles. Yeah, but he's, he's going up in age himself. He's kind of almost the same age as Cena. Yeah, but AJ, and, uh, AJ's got years left in him. True. He's only Cena, to be fair. Um, but, I don't know, it's... Like, but then what happens when AJ starts with Tyus? Who goes, who's in? Who's the guy Cena isn't going to be around forever. Yeah. They need to capitalise on this while the iron is hot. Cena, Cena can join the Bullet Club, turn heel. There, there's always going to be a big face. There has to be. There's, all, there's always going to be uh, a Hulk Hogan. Mm. Uh, there's always going to be, uh, you know, so you go from Hulk Hogan to The Rock to John Cena. There's always that one superstar in a generation that's going to carry the torch forward. Yeah. Okay, Cena's been that for 10 years. It's time to change. Hogan was that for the best part for, for 10 years. Mm-hmm. He he switched and turned his career right around, made him re- 
they made Hulk Hogan relevant again when he was starting to lose relevance. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you're right. That'd be awesome to see, like, you know, down here on the Wonder Club. Uh, that'd be crazy. But uh, I just don't know if they'd be willing to take that risk. Um, it's 20 years weird. ago this summer Yeah, that Hogan turned. All oh, right, 20 so, yeah. years. So we're approaching uh, an anniversary of a turning point in professional wrestling. True. But it's also, it was WCW, WCW and WWE had this whole thing, or well, Vince has this whole thing, like where he sends WCW and all that. WCW made WWF, uh, WWE oh, yeah. change For sure. but, uh, their Vin- game. Vince would never admit that. He um, knows it. Yeah, he knows, but he wouldn't admit it. It's time now. Yeah. But right. yeah, I mean, I agree with you completely. Uh, and I think that is the perfect way to do it. Yeah. While he's in this feud with the Bullet Club, NWO, obviously Hogan was anti NWO and all this sort of stuff. And well, they weren't really the NWO then, but they was anti yeah, the, the, outsiders. the outsiders. Yeah. You know, he was he was the good guy and then he turned and joined them and changed his whole gimmick. You know, he dumped the red and yellow and he, you know, grew this weird multicolored beard, yeah. black and yellow beard and, you know, donned the colours of the NWO and just changed his career. Yes. And Hogan wasn't young at this point. That's true, yeah, he was getting up there. So they got life out of uh, an ageing Hulk Hogan. True. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be huge if seen as Ed Hill. Um, huge. So huge. And I agree that they should definitely do something and like that. They would elevate the club. It would, it would, yeah, it would make the club like the... Maybe they don't even need to turn on AJ yeah. Styles, perhaps. Yeah, we'd have him join as well, but then, yeah. Jesus Christ, I mean, <laughs> Cena and AJ Styles... Yeah, that's quite a team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, that'd be amazing. I hope it's true. I hope it happens. I hope something happens. I mean, maybe you could. You have Cena versus AJ Styles at um, uh, uh, Battleground. Yeah. Okay, then you have the Bullet Club versus a John Cena team Yeah. at SummerSlam. Maybe. Then Cena makes the turn. Mm, that'd be good, yeah. It's like they're about to win and whoever's like Cena's partner gets... A- a- gets a aid. Yeah, all of this goes crazy. Seen a stern face, stands yeah. tall while the. Um, we're getting goosebumps thinking about it. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. awesome. Yeah, it'd be so good. I, I, would, I would just I'd mark out beyond belief. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Jay would be going, What? What is this? Why? I can't believe John's Why, John? Back. Why? Okay, yeah. Uh, just think, just. I mean, uh, obviously, I mean, they'll just. They'll chuck two guys with Cena. Oh yeah. Two relevant guys. It'd be so sure. whoever I mean obviously the draft is gonna have a big effect on this, time will tell. Yeah. But that is how I think you make John Cena relevant again. How you make John Cena cool again and how you prolong um John Cena in WWE because the act is getting very st- well, it, it, it was it got it, still a long time ago. Yeah, it got yeah. still a long time ago. Yeah. So this is how you 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 reinvent John Cena. Yeah. The the make a wish stuff is fine. Cena's not the hero anymore in in my opinion. Cena isn't the heel the, isn't the hero anymore. True. Um to the kids Roman Reigns is. I mean obviously that's <laughs> probably going to change now. But well, see. Cena I don't think we're we're in a time where there is heroes now. I think well, I think we've moved past it. Yeah. We're moving so. past it. Yeah. It's a new era as they say. Yeah, it's a new it's exactly that. A new era. I mean he's done the make a wish he's you know, broke the record for Make a Wish, and obviously everything he's done for charity and all that sort of stuff is incredible. Yeah. But this is a story driven, predetermined professional wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All, all of those accomplishments aren't going to go away. True. But he needs to change. And I think Cena probably knows that as well. I'm sure he does. He's, he's, he's said that he wants to, he would like to stand heel and he would like to see, like, be different. It's, and I, it's, <laughs> it's not. Beyond the realms of possibility, no, no. and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my neck out like you did last week, okay. and I'm gonna say I, I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, um, I would definitely like it to happen. Uh, I'm going to take that bet that it won't happen. However, because it's WWE and they don't do yeah. stuff, they they they, they let us have fun things. Um, so I'm gonna write it down actually, so we know. Okay, but yeah, that bet is locked in up there with uh, the Shenmue H D bet. <laughs> yeah, that's never coming. Yeah, it might. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you understand where I'm coming from, and you understand why I compare the two. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, especially it being like 20th anniversary. As you said this this would be definitely be the time to do it. And uh, yeah, Cena needs something to keep him relevant. Yep. I mean, how long realistically 
can see to keep this current gimmick going. Yeah. Not long. Not much longer. Yeah. I mean, what happens? Does he does he uh beat AJ Styles and then that's it? That's the end of the feud? Yeah, it's true. No one's to go. And what what happens if Cena wins? Where does he go then? He just fights someone else and beats them. <laughs> yeah. This has to be the beginning of change. Yeah, I agree. But it won't be. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the future holds for good old John. Big Mass John. We will. I mean, you know, I'm, I might be completely wrong and I might be reading way too much into this Hogan Cena comparison and the fact that it's 20 years since <laughs> the infamous heel turn at Bass at the Beach. Yeah. I, you know, but it's something I've been thinking about since you mentioned it last week. So I wanted to talk about it. Get your thoughts on it. Yeah. I know it's a, it is a well thought out um, discussion, I thought. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And guys, if you you know if you do listen to this and you have an opinion on you know what we've just talked about with regards to Cena and where you see Cena going and if you think what we have just discussed could happen, let us know. Tweet us at SunnyFinPC mm-hmm. and um, you know, join in the conversation as well. Yeah, but um, I think um, the next couple of months could be very interesting for WWE, especially very based on what's just happened to Roman. Yeah. And, um, you know, with the brand split and everything coming coming out as well. Yes. Uh, exciting time to be a wrestling fan. Just a couple more bits before we uh, before we sign off. Okay. Um, a leaked um, WWE 2 2016 pay-per-view schedule has been leaked. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, on Reddit earlier on today, I think. Um so we've got Battleground next, and mm-hmm. then SummerSlam is the one after that. But then we've got Backlash. Right. Clash of Champions. Okay, that's a new one. Yeah. W-W-W. Which is a WCW one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no Mercy. Oh, yeah. Hell in a Survivor Series, TLC, and Roadblock. Interesting. That points to two pay-per-views a month for yeah. the rest of the year. It does. Uh, next to Backlash, it says Network Special. Oh, right, Okay. Okay, so, but that, I mean, this isn't by any stretch confirmed. This has been leaked. Yeah, yeah. It looks convincing. I did read that they were going to potentially have Clash of the Champions. Yeah, I had that though. Um, so that would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting that they've sort of, I mean, there, there was no reason to create new pay-per-view names. No, no. So Backlash and No Mercy, fine, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that the rumour was, and Jerry the King Lawler, the disgraced Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. I think you. I think you. He might be back eventually. I don't know. Yeah, sure. But um, he, you know, he did sort of hint at the fact that there could be two pay per views per month. Yeah, yeah. Going forward. Um, what do you think to that? What do you think to there being two pay per views going forward? Um, mm, it, I hope. That, uh, well, I think if you think about it, it's a like three hours of war and two hours of Macdon every week. That's like five hours, and then you add another, uh, like two pay per views, another like six hours of pay per views, mm-hmm. maybe eight hours of pay per views. That's a lot of wrestling. It's a lot of wrestling. <laughs> Plus, with NXT as well thrown in. You're with NXT, yeah. Potential yeah. NXT special every so often. Yeah, I don't know if people have time to keep up with all that wrestling. No, I don't. Um, it's going to be uh, a hard sort of slog to keep up with Raw and SmackDown every week. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But, um, you know, if you add a pay per view every two weeks into the mix as well. Yeah. That's, mm. Obviously, this is going to be brand specific pay per views. Oh, yeah, but what they want to, I think, in my opinion, what they need to try and avoid. Is people sort of watching one and not the other? Yeah, you know, making one product interesting, making the other, you know, sort of nothing. Like, like that's like like how how that can't talk. Like how it is now. Like SmackDown is just like nothing. Yeah, we never watch SmackDown. We all we we all we do is sort of skim through the results, see that there's three matches in a couple of segments, and be like, right, okay, I don't need to watch it. I might watch uh, Reigns versus Reigns, uh, Rollins versus Sammy there. Yeah, that, must, that sounds quite cool. But yeah, better than that. Um, I mean, SmackDown might be different now that it's going live. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will be. Because you know, um, you know, we can, you, know, you can watch it sort of spoiler free. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, don't oversaturate us with wrestling. <laughs> Too much yeah. wrestling. Uh, I mean, it looks like they're going to. I mean, yeah. if this is real, we don't know if it's real. I mean, I'm sure we will find out as the brand split uh, approaches and the draft gets closer. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm told they keep it interesting and don't like give us crappy views no one cares about. Then mm. they could put it off, but I, mean, I don't know. It's uh, we'll see. It depends who's on what show. Yeah, I'm cautious, cautiously optimistic. I'd say. Yeah, same. Um, I like that they're bringing the old ones back because yeah, um, that's good. I like the back backlash logo and symbol and that sort of stuff. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. cool. Uh, no mercy obviously takes us back in time as well. Yeah, so that'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. Um, I read a rumor. 
Yeah. So far, so it's actually on my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> I read that they're going to do for Survivor Series, uh, like, war games. Oh, yeah. Like WCW did. Yeah. Interesting. That's That was a rumour. Yeah. And I would love it if they did that. Yeah, it'd be great. But um, we'll see. I need to book the day off after Survivor Series. Oh, yeah. Nice. And my day off after my birthday. So that'd be good. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, got anything else? I um, don't think so. Okay. Um, so... That's it for this week's episode of the Sunny and Finn Show. I hope you enjoyed it. It was obviously wrestling cent- centred. Yep. We'll be back well. next week with some video game news, providing there is some. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, probably a Roman Reigns update as well. Yeah. Um, look out for this week's What Happened NXT that will be coming on Friday, mm-hmm. the day before this episode is released on the Saturday. Uh-huh. So um, go subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, uh, follow us on SoundCloud. And you can find us on any other podcast service that you may use. Yep. Across all different devices. Mm-hmm. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out our Money in the Bank prediction show from Sunday. Uh, go check out our other videos. Um, go check out Finn being garbage at Dark Souls 3. Yep. Mm-hmm. And go check out my WWE career mode on 2K16. Yeah. And much more streams and all that sort of stuff coming. So much more. And uh, we're devising a plan to get ourselves out there a bit more. Yeah. We need to uh, pay someone to uh, <laughs> to make it relevant. Yes, <laughs> that's what that's what we're going to have to do going forward. Just but throwing money at Twitter and Facebook, make please show people our stuff, <laughs> please. <laughs> but to you guys who do listen and uh, follow us uh, in our little community so far, thank you very much. Yes, thank there you. There is more to come. Definitely. Uh, but for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Ben. And this has been episode 18 of the Sunny and Finn Show. We'll speak to you next time. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye. Divas. Ha, ha, ha.